Just a minute, honey, I'm fixing her. Yeah, he's picking up some outside interference on her voice circuits. Hey, turn around, Vicky. Okay, recite the Gettysburg Address again, and I'll adjust while you're talking. Conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Ta-da. Mm. <laughs> if Abe Lincoln were alive, he'd turn over in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Johnny, she's all yours. Oh, thanks, honey. Uh, Vicky, would you polish the coffee table over there? I've got some other things to do. Polish the coffee table? <laughs> oh, Ted, did you fix the leg on this end table? It was loose. Yeah, yeah, Vicky and I fixed it together. We used super glue. Bulldozer couldn't break this thing. Solid as a rock. Right, Vicky? Solid as a rock. Oh, no. Ted, why'd you have to make her so strong? Well, I, uh, Vicki, uh, take the pieces into the kitchen, will you, please? Hi. Don't tell me. Vicki did it. Great. How was school today, honey? Worst day of my life. Remember I told you about that show they're putting on to raise money for gym equipment? Yes. Well, today they had auditions for scenes from Romeo and Juliet, and I said... Why not give it a try? I know about love and tragedy and all that stuff. I watched Dynasty. <laughs> well, from the look on your face, looks like you didn't get the part, huh? Oh, I got the part. I'm Romeo. But that's terrific. Then what are you so unhappy about? Because Juliet is Harriet. <laughs> like Snow White being played by Joan Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Well, uh, what brings you here today? Well, it's our great day for the Brindles. Not only have I been appointed entertainment and publicity chairman for our school show, my daughter is the star. Harriet, say something in Shakespeare. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh. Romeo's on his way to Cleveland. <laughs> Hold it, hold it, hold it, Romeo. Get out. I'd like to take a picture of the kids to put in the newspaper. Oh. Okay, Harry, you stand right by Jamie there. You know, a little publicity might help sell some tickets. Smile, Jamie. Walk like you sick to your stomach. Who's acting? <laughs> My big smiles now. Perfect. I'll get this on over to the newspaper. Well, how about a picture of the proud parents, huh? That's a good idea, Ted. I'll go get my husband, and then you can take our picture. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, Romeo, tis almost morning. I would have thee gone, and yet no further than Wanton's bird that lets it hop a little from his hand. Not bad, huh? If Shakespeare were alive, he'd turn over in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Harriet. 
Let's get to my favorite part of the play, your death scene. Oh. <laughs> I've got a better idea. Let's stay with your romantic balcony scene. Then window, let day in, and let life out. Farewell, farewell. One kiss and I'll descend. Wait a minute. <laughs> Where's the kiss? <laughs> this is just a rehearsal. That's what rehearsals are for. You're supposed to kiss me on the balcony. I'm not kissing you on the balcony or anywhere else. <laughs> Look, there's nothing personal on this. Now pucker up and let me have it! <laughs> How about a hearty handshake? No way. Hi, kids. How's it going with the two great lovers? Can I fix you a snack? Oh, thanks. <laughs> not me. I'll take a barf bag. <laughs> Hi, kids. Hi. Guess what? You kids are celebrities, huh? Your picture's in the afternoon paper. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, look, even Vicky's in it. Yeah. Can I borrow it to show my mother? Good idea. Save her a trip over here. <laughs> well, see you later, Romeo. Remember, practice your pucker. <laughs> Come on, Vicky. Let's go to my room and rehearse. You make a better Juliet than Harriet. With me, he won't need a barf bag. <laughs> uh, Romeo isn't too thrilled with his Juliet. Ah. <laughs> well, I'm certainly satisfied with my Juliet. Mm -hmm. I'll climb up your balcony anytime. <laughs> oh, after all these years, I still hear her bells. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm coming. Uh, is this the Lawson residence? Yes. I'm Ted Lawson. Can I help you? I'm Buddy O'Connor. The atomic comic from Kalamazoo. Singer, dancer, former charm consultant to John McEnroe. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I do for you, Mr. O'Connor? Oh, I was just passing through town, and I happened to spot this picture in the paper. Uh, would it be possible for me to see this little girl? Vicky? Well, why do you want to see her? Wait, uh, let me ask you a question. Did you happen to adopt her? Uh, yes, we did. Uh, why? I knew it. I knew it. It all fits. What fits? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here. Here. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. See? Here. Mm -hmm. And here. What? See? The same kid. It does kind of resemble Vicky at a younger age. Are you kidding? That's her. Her real name is Mary, and I'm her father. Her father? Uh, no, you must be mistaken, Mr. O'Connor. There's no possible way Vicky could be your daughter. He could prove it to you. How? Well, I built her. No, I mean, I built, we, we built a good home for her here. <laughs> Look, a, a year ago, my ex-wife wrote me that she was putting Mary up for adoption. <laughs> a great mother, huh? She was even worse in our act. She, she started upstaging me, you know, and stealing my jokes, so. Well, listen, we're real sorry about that, Mr. Look, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I've been a pretty lousy parent, and I don't deserve any favors, but I, I'm leaving for a gig in Hong Kong in a couple of days, and I... I'd just like to see Mary before I go. Just once. Oh, Mr. O'Connor, you're making this very difficult for us. I'm sorry. Look, you don't even have to say I'm her father. I'd, I'd just like to take a look at the kid. I, I, I'll probably never see her again. Would you excuse us for just a minute, please? Yeah. Uh, have a seat. Oh, thank you. Hey, uh, it's a great place. Oh, honey, this poor man really thinks that Vicky's his daughter. Well, if I were him, I might think the same thing. What do you mean? Honey, when I built Vicky, I had her face molded from a kid's picture I got from a modeling agency. Now, I know it's a crazy coincidence, but it must be this guy's kid. Oh, Ted. Whoever thought anything like this would happen? Honey, if this guy makes trouble for us, it could come out that Vicky's a robot. Or worse, that we use phony papers to get through her adoption. Right. Well, what do you think we should do? We don't have any choice. We let him see her, and then he'll be on his way to Hong Kong. Yeah, but what if he isn't? Then we better be on our way to Hong Kong. <laughs> smile, great personality. It's easy to see why everybody loves you. Especially oh. me. <laughs> uh, we're back, Mr. O'Connor. Uh, we've talked it over and we decided, yes, you can see Vicky. Why not? Oh, oh great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. When, when can I see my little girl? Well, how, how, how about 
right now. Vicky, would you come in here, please? Oh, you know, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> the last time I saw her, she was just a little baby. But what a great audience she was. I'd tell her a joke and she'd wet her pants. <laughs> and she won't do that again. You called me? Oh, uh, Vicky, yes, I'd like you to meet somebody. Uh, this is Mr. O'Connor. Oh, she's a cutie, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Hi there, sweetie. Oh, 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 Vicky. Oh, oh, man, she is strong. Man, I am strong. What's with her voice? She sounds like the seatbelt warning on my Datsun. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's just a little laryngitis, right, Vicky? That's a great voice for showbiz. Uh, exactly what do you do in show business? I thought you'd never ask. Get a load of this. da dum da dum 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 ba doo ba dee ba da da doo doo boom doo doo Shave and a haircut, two bits. That's what you call show business. Another critic. <laughs> look, kid, it took me years to learn how to do that. It's not as easy as I make it look. I can do that. Bum 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 bum. Shave and haircut, two bits. She's fantastic. We know. <laughs> uh, Vicky, you can go now. Yeah, uh, bye, sweetie. Bye, sweetie. No, no forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Vicky. Go to your room now. Did you see the lovely photo of the kids in the newspaper? Yeah. Harriet looks adorable. Yes. Of course, she looks just like me. <laughs> Unfortunately, she has her father's legs. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you had company. Excuse me for barging in. Now you're just the barge to do it. <laughs> this is our neighbor, Mrs. Brindle, Bonnie. This is Buddy O'Connor. Oh, hi. Hi. Well, how's uh, the school show coming along? Oh, boy, have I got problems. Our star attraction has dropped out. You know Captain Norman and his duck? <laughs> <laughs> we can get Captain Norman, but his duck is sick. <laughs> and there's nobody left at the end of the act to lay the egg. <laughs> Don't look at me. I happen to be in showbiz, too. I sing and dance. Oh, how clever. Now, I know what you're thinking. What am I thinking? That I'm going to ask you to be in our show, but I wouldn't impose. No, 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 no. <laughs> Still, you could be the answer to a maiden's prayer. <laughs> I've done that, too. <laughs> Look, I'd really like to help you out, but I'm on my way to Hong Kong. Oh. Bonnie, I thought you said one of the kids' fathers was a big theatrical agent, and he was going to get somebody. Well, that's true, but Mr. Adams is out of town. He won't be back until the night of the show. Uh, excuse me. A big agent is going to be at the show? Mm -hmm. His son's in the show. He plays a tree. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, dear lady, I am a sucker for a hard luck story. I'm all heart. I'll do your show. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Watch it. I chap easily. <laughs> And I just can't hide it. That's <laughs> what oh, you want to do. Bitsy, bitsy, bitsy me. Bye bye. 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 Oh, this is going to be great. And I'm going to put Mary in the act. Vicky? Yeah, all right, Vicky. With your permission, of course. You know, she learns fast. I'll teach her a routine and she can help me out. Uh, I don't know about that, Mr. O'Connor. Oh, it's... please, folks. You know how tough it is for a guy like me to get seen by a big agent? This could be my big break. I'm not a kid, you know. I just look young and beautiful. <laughs> Well, look, I... Now, please. Pretty please. I'll grovel if I have to. Grovel, grovel, grovel. <laughs> we, we, we really, really like to help you out here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you both. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow for rehearsal. Well, now, wait a minute, buddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Everybody ready? Oh, ready? we're ready. ready. OK, yeah. rehearsal time. Hit the music. Here comes O'Connor and Friend. I 
lucky. I just won a trip to Borneo. Borneo, that headhunters there. No wonder they told me not to pack any hats. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last week, I worked in a club where business was really bad. How bad was it? It was so bad, the bouncer had to go outside and throw people in. <laughs> This guy couldn't get on the gong show. And speaking of my ex-wife, she cried her heart out when we divorced. You know why? No, why? She was hoping to be a widow. And we want to be happy, but we won't be happy till we make you happy too. Dynamite, huh? Yeah, I can see why they're sending you to Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> but you take Vicky to her room. Oh, come on, Vicky. Well, uh, that was very nice, Mr. O'Connor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if we're a big hit with that agent, with that big agent on the school show, I'm going to take Vicky on the road with me. On the road? Mm -hmm. Aren't you forgetting that she's our daughter? Hey, she's my daughter, too. I never agreed to any adoption. And if I have to, I can get pretty sticky about it. Well, we're just going to have to talk about this, Mr. O'Connor. What's to talk about? You want trouble? You got it. <laughs> see ya. Just let him see her and he'll be gone, huh? So I was wrong. No problem. Remember what O'Connor said his ex-wife did to him in his act? Yes. Well, wait till you see what I programmed Vicky to do to him in his act. And get back, take it. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Then, window, let day in and let life out. Farewell, farewell. One kiss and I'll descend. <laughs> Hast thou forgotten my kiss? I'll be one. <laughs> of Romeo and Harriet, I mean, Juliet, <laughs> that a star is born. Oh. And the little boy wasn't bad either. Oh. And now, for our final act of the evening, our piece of resistance. <laughs> Here we have the world-famous star of stage, screen, and supermarket openings, <laughs> Buddy O'Connor and Friend, and away we go! I just want a trip to Borneo. Borneo, they have headhunters there. Yeah. Don't take I... any hats. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last week I worked at a club where business was really bad. How bad was it? It was so bad. The bouncer had to go outside and throw people in. <laughs> oh, she's fast tonight. Speaking of my ex-wife, she was brokenhearted when we got divorced. You know why? She wanted to be a widow. <laughs> <laughs> and we want... To be happy, but we won't be happy till we make you happy, too. Thanks for nothing. You're welcome. Oh, bravissimo. What's with your kid? She's worse than my ex-wife. She stole everything but my underwear. <laughs> We're real sorry about that, buddy. She, uh... I can't imagine what got into Vicky. Well, she made me look like a fool. That agent probably hated the act. Wrong, wrong. I liked it. Hi, I'm Lou Adams of the Lou Adams Agency. Hi. <laughs> Kid's cute. I 
Guys stole everything but his underwear. <laughs> you ought to put her in show business. You know, you change her name, get her a nose job, she'd be okay. Vicky, go get Jamie. I'm sorry, Mr. Adams, but we don't want Vicky in show business. Tonight was just for the school. Well, you might not want her in show business, but I do. You want us, Adams, you got us. Now, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. Who said us? I mean, it's the kid's act. You're just the stooge. <laughs> stooge? Buddy O'Connor? The man who had a summer squash named after him at the Idaho State Fair? <laughs> no way am I going to be a stooge for a kid. What kind of an agent are you? What kind of an agent am I? You've heard of Robert Redford? Are you trying to tell me you discovered him? No, I heard of him, too. <laughs> you see, I'm on top of things. <laughs> the kid's cute. Right. Terrific. Here's my card. Well, buddy, listen, now, we're real sorry. I... You still got that job in Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe I ought to try a new gimmick, like Captain Norman and his duck. Yeah, <laughs> only I'll use a chicken. I'm getting tired of laying the eggs. <laughs> I'll see you. Okay. Uh, take care of the kid, huh? Well, honey, if I do say so myself, I think I handled this problem with Vicky and Buddy rather brilliantly. Yes, dear. Now all you have to do is work on this problem with your modesty. Yeah, well... <laughs> I've been looking for you. Shh! Go away! I'm hiding from Juliet. She still wants that kiss. <laughs> That's a Romeo. I'll take that kiss now. No way, Harriet. If you just kiss me on the cheek, I'll leave you alone. You promise? Promise. Okay. <laughs> so I can go get your father? No sweat. I already took care of it. Oh. <laughs> no sweat, huh? <laughs> Robots don't sweat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kid, I was just gonna pick you up. How'd you get home? I got a ride home from Lou Carey from our microchip department. Remember good old Lou from the company picnic? Yeah, I remember all good old 300 pounds of him. <laughs> a tooth on the table? Yeah, even the ants ran for their lives. <laughs> Boy, you should see old Lou now, honey. He's a lean, mean 165 pounds soaking wet. Yeah, you mean with just one foot on the scale. <laughs> no, really. Lou and his whole family joined a health club. They swim, lift weights, use those exercise machines. <laughs> Sounds great, huh? Personally, I prefer the sound of junk food crunching between my teeth. Mm -hmm. Junk food, according to a doctor on television, junk food contains salt and fats that pose a serious threat to the cardiovascular system, not to mention giving you a face full of zits. <laughs> Who asked her? <laughs> Jamie, she's right. These are really, really bad for you. 
Ted, really. Something in her chip, my dear? No way, Jose. Well, she's right. Matter of fact, honey, I looked in the mirror today, and I, I've really let myself go. I mean, it's a problem. <laughs> I have the solution. Get a new mirror. <laughs> honey, I think you look great. I do? Except for the little spare tire mm -hmm. and the little pasta pouch. <laughs> you really know how to hurt a guy. Oh, we're just kidding, Ted. I wasn't. <laughs> honey, if you make you feel better, why don't you join one of those health clubs like Lou did? Yeah. You know, I've got a better idea. I'll get my own personal exercise coach right here at home. I'll take the same if it's Jane Fonda. <laughs> I meant Vicky. All I have to do is let her watch one of those exercise shows on TV and she'll be programmed. And then I'll add a few little goodies of my own. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds wonderful, huh? Yeah, great idea, Dad. Well, I'm glad you both like it because we're all starting first thing in the morning. <laughs> we? Forget it. Same here. <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> Tony, honey, come on. I really feel strongly about this, but I can't do this without your help. Okay, you've got it. Thanks. I'll kick you out of bed every morning so that you can exercise. <laughs> come on, honey. I know me, and I won't do this unless you two join in. And then don't you want a healthy husband and a healthy father? What good's a healthy father if his son doesn't survive? <laughs> well, okay, we'll join in. Oh, Mom, I don't need more exercise. I'm in great shape. Except for the spare tire. <laughs> and the little pasta pouch. <laughs> Then Adam, time to shape up and slim down. What? Who's there? It's your own personal exercise coach. Now move it. Oh. <laughs> Is that one of the few little goodies you added? <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. So early, the late night movie's still on television. <laughs> what time is it? Time at the tone. The time will be 5.30 a.m. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> time for a healthy two-mile jog. Hut, hut, oh. hut, hut, hut. Come on, Vicky's right. Into your warm-up suits. Let's go jogging. If it's good for good old Lou, it's good for us. <laughs> Wake me up when you get back. Come on, Chubbo, no lollygagging. Oh, boy. Oh, that was quite a jog. Yeah. Where's Dad? I thought he was right behind us. like Darth Vader with asthma. <laughs> Honey, are you all right? Ah, uh, great, 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 great. Never felt better. <laughs> Listen up, fat sos. Form a line over there and do everything I do. Suck in that gut. What'd you program her to be, a tell of the hun? One, two, one, two. Oh, it would help a little if we had a little music. Yeah. yeah oh, I forgot to turn on a radio. Stop, Vicky. <laughs> Continue, Vicky. Head erect, arms straight, little circles. Faster, faster, faster. <laughs> Forget it. There ain't no way I'm getting this off the ground. Boy, you're gonna love this. This is a breakfast recipe I got from good old Lou. What is it, Dad? 
It's fiber. The body needs lots of fiber. There's enough fiber in this to make a floor mat. <laughs> Go on, taste it. Go ahead, Jamie. Ladies first, Mom. <laughs> Come on, you two. You gotta be healthy on the inside as well as the outside. Come on, we'll all taste it together. Ready? Into the mouth. Mm -hmm. All right, I know it's a little strange at first, but trust me, it'll grow on you. <laughs> I think it's already started. <laughs> I can't wait to see what we're having for dinner. Dinner. You'll love dinner. We're having dried alfalfa sprouts, fresh kale, enriched kohlrabi, and puree of turnip soup. Another gourmet dinner at the Lawson's. <laughs> Just think, in a couple of weeks, I'll be in the same condition as good old Lou. I hope so. We're gonna be the healthiest family in town if it kills us. It's working. <laughs> You know, Jamie, maybe this health routine isn't such a bad idea after all. I've lost a couple pounds in just two days. Vicky weighed me with her computer. Yeah, maybe I lost some weight, too. Weigh me, Vicky. Weigh you. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I lost some weight, too. Hey, great. Come on, Vicky. Hi, honey. What's the matter? It's good old Lou. What about him? Well, we were having lunch today, and all of a sudden, right in front of me, right there, Lou goes face down in his alfalfa sprouts. <laughs> no, just like that? I mean, didn't he even say anything? Yeah, he said, Ugh. <laughs> What's the matter? Is he sick? He's real sick. He's dead. Oh, no. Broke his glasses and everything. Heart attack? Yeah, honey, the old ticker. I gotta tell you, Joni, it really shook me up. Dad, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll send his wife a sympathy card. Yeah, poor old Lou. He was eating all the right things, exercising, living clean. When the ambulance carted him away, he never looked better. <laughs> They won't have to touch him for the funeral. Now, Ted, I know you, and, and you shouldn't worry about a thing like this. Yeah. You and Lou are entirely different. Yeah. He was a year younger and a lot healthier. <laughs> Honey, when's it gonna be my turn to go face down on the alfalfa sprouts? In a couple of weeks, you'll be in the same condition as good old Lou. <laughs> And shine, time to get up. Oh. Let's go, suckers. It's the A team again. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What's the matter, Ted? Oh, I must have thrown my back out jogging yesterday. Oh, honey, every muscle in my aging body. Eggs. <laughs> no excuses. Stop. Stop, Vicky. You programmed me to do this. I changed my mind. Oh, good morning. I don't think we should jog today. Shouldn't jog? I think my hearing's going. <laughs> you know, I mean, why press it? We can jog tomorrow or the next day. Or the next year. You know, it's good to give the body a rest. All right, before it rests in peace. Uh, Vicky, jog into the kitchen and start breakfast, okay? Start breakfast. Hut, 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 hut. You know, I'm feeling healthier already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I'll uh, take a couple aspirin just in case. In case of what? You never know. <laughs> Mom, what's with Dad? He's acting.
acting very strange. Joan, there's no aspirin. I guess we ran out. Joni, please, always keep plenty of medication on hand. My God, it's our first line of defense. <laughs> you can't expect me to go out there alone. <laughs> Mom, I think he's cracking up. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. How'd it go? Funerals are so depressing. <laughs> <sighs> Poor good old Lou, lying there in his coffin in his seersucker suit. <laughs> he was wearing that yellow tie with the palm tree painted on it. <laughs> I guess his wife was trying to get rid of it. <laughs> it's just not fair for somebody to look so good and to be so dead. <laughs> Well, I guess that's life. Well, I, I mean, it's kind of scary. Honey, the scary part is everybody at the funeral said I look so good. Well, you do. You look great. What's in the bag? Oh, I just stopped by the drugstore to pick up a few things I needed. Some aspirin and some cough medicine, some inhaler and some eye drops and nose drops. <laughs> Athlete's foot spray. What? No laxatives? I knew I forgot something. Do I look bloated? Aren't you overdoing it a little? Honey, honey, we can't be too careful. Look what happened to... Good old Lou. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Wait, 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 wait. Now, what does it mean when you see spots in front of your eyes? <laughs> Dad, maybe you should go see a doctor. I already did. What did he say? That I'm in perfect health. That's great. He was Lou's doctor. <laughs> what does he know? Ted, you're just upset about Lou's funeral. Yeah. Now, why don't you go and lie down and relax? You'll feel better. All right, kids, would you uh, help me, please? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, kids, now. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. <clears throat> oh. Oh. No, no, I better not do that. What's the matter? Honey, in my condition, it's very dangerous to be in a horizontal position. Ted, will you stop? There's nothing wrong with you. Yeah, you'll feel a lot better after the movie tonight. What movie? You promised to take us to one. In a theater full of people? Do you know how many germs are in a theater? Well, at least at the movies, it'll get your mind off of good old Lou. Oh, I think I better pass on the movies, honey, but I would like some dinner, thank you. Well, good idea. I, I've got your favorite in the oven. Pot roast. Pot roast. Pot roast? Meat? Cholesterol? <laughs> Joan, are you trying to push me into the grave? Ted, really? No, thanks, honey. I'll just have a nice, soft-boiled egg for my upset stomach. Do you really have an upset stomach? No, but I will after I eat the egg. <laughs> I'm going to put on my slippers now. I think my feet are starting to swell. <laughs> Vicky. Jamie, you're a good boy. Take good care of your mother. <laughs> Mom, he's falling apart. I know. Good old Lou's in better shape than Dad is. <laughs> you think he's really sick? No, but I just might kill him before he can die of natural causes. <laughs> I'll fix him his egg, and then let's go to the movies before he drives us crazy. Yeah. Do you think it's wise to leave him alone? Oh, no, he'll be fine. It's all in his head. This thing with good old Lou has turned your father into hypochondriac. Besides, he's got Vicky to keep him company. Right, and it might be an interesting experiment. What will? To see if Dad can drive a robot crazy. <laughs> well, I'm still breathing. It's awfully bright in here. 
and it hurts my eyes. Vicky, lead me to the light switch. To the light switch. I've seen a healthier tongue in a delicatessen window. That's much better. It's drafty in here. It's drafty in here. You noticed it, too. I think I'll just put this around my shoulders to keep these old bones warm. Nothing like a rocking chair to comfort a weary old body. Why is it so dark in here? You turned out the lights. See, my memory's going too. Germs, germs. I know you're here, I can't see you. You're not gonna get me without a fight. Take that, and that, Take that. Why do I bother? It'll soon be over. I could go just like that. Ow! I hurt my thumb. You see what bad shape I'm in? Well, I'm ready when you are, Big G. <laughs> Ted, why are you sitting in the dark? You look like Whistler's father. Joni, is that you? Look at this. This is ridiculous. Keep this up and you'll really make yourself sick. Oh, Joni, uh, honey, about the life insurance policy. I... It's awfully bright in here. Oh, it hurts my eyes. Ooh, it's drafty in here. Oh, I'll just put this around the shoulders to keep the old bones warm. Vicky's <laughs> oh. gone bananas. Oh, nothing like a rocking chair to relax a weary old body. <laughs> Your father's even made Vicky sick. I could go just like that. Ow! I hurt my thumb. Stop, Vicky, stop, stop. Is that what I look like? Worse. I had no idea I was acting so ridiculous. Honey, you've been so worried about what might happen. You've been turning yourself into an old man. Yeah, and you're aging us a little, too. I'm sorry, Joni. Good old Lou overdid it in his way, and you've been overdoing it in yours. Yeah. All right, from now on, everything in moderation, I promise. Let's start by pigging out on chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? <laughs> Are you kidding? This stuff can kill you. But what a way to go. <laughs> Coming, Vicky? Why do I bother? It'll soon be over. Ready when you are, Big G. <laughs>
That was great. Mm. What was it? <clears throat> Here is the new light bulb you wanted from the supply closet. Oh, thanks, Vicky. Did you shake it to see if it's good? We have a better way. Test the light bulb, Vicky. <laughs> it's a three-way bulb. <laughs> That's wild. How'd she do that, Dad? Well, she has a built-in micro generator with a 440 volt capacity. That makes sense. <laughs> mm. We only got to get to work, honey. Bye. Oh, bye. Oh, Vicky, put that bulb in the living room lamp. I'll get it. Okay, oh, thanks, honey. Hello. Oh, hi. It's Grandpa Bill from Omaha. Yeah, I'm fine, Grandpa. I grew a whole inch since you last saw me. No, I mean taller, not wider. <laughs> no, I don't really have a girlfriend yet. But there's a girl I kind of like. She's 13. I prefer older, more experienced women. <laughs> Give me the phone, Jamie. Okay, here's Mom. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Oh, we're just fine. You and Mom okay? Great. Oh, well, when will you be here? Oh, well, wonderful. Yeah, we'll pick you up at the airport. Okay, well, we'll see you Saturday, then. Love to Mom. Okay, bye-bye. They're coming to visit us, Jamie. Great. <laughs> yeah, that was a short day at the office. The one day I've got an important meeting, my car battery is dead. Dad, Grandpa just called. They're coming to visit us Saturday. They are? That's great. Except for one thing. How are we going to tell my dad about Vicky? Hmm? How are we going to tell him that we have a beautiful little robot? <laughs> Won't he figure it out for himself when she says hello and carries him to his room? <laughs> Jamie, the point is, is that your grandfather may not be too thrilled about having a robot in the family. After working for the same company for 40 years, he was fired and replaced by a robot. Oh. And he's still bitter about it. He doesn't even like the fact that I work for a robotics company. The fact is, he really hates robots. He really hates robots. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets past those pink little microsensor ears of hers. Listen, why are we worrying, huh? I mean, once he meets Vicky, he'll, he'll love her like we do. Huh? And then we'll tell him the truth. All right, anyway, I gotta get to work. Come on, Vicky, help me get my car started. <laughs> have her push it. Oh, no, honey, I'm gonna have her carry it piggyback. <laughs> That's a joke. I'm glad you told us. <laughs> Come on, Vicky. I guess I gotta see. What are you gonna do, Ted? Well, these are attached to my car battery. Now, Vicky, hold these. When I give you the word, you give it your full power, okay? I don't believe it. She's gonna jumpstart Dad's car. <laughs> okay, go, Vicky. My full power. Okay, stop, Vicky. Stop. I hope I never get hot flashes like that. <laughs> Everybody, we're back from the airport. Oh, the place yeah. looks lovely Where as is usual. everybody? <laughs> oh, 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 hey, let me look at you. Is that a handsome fella? I never argue with my elders. <laughs> Did you bring me a present, Grandpa? Jamie, that's rude. I'm sorry. But as long as I opened up the subject, did you? <laughs> How could we forget our favorite grandson? Yeah, especially when you're our only grandson. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I love it. Daddy's always wanted one of those. What is it? <laughs> that is an African medicine man mask. It keeps away evil spirits. Hmm, I would imagine it would keep away his wife, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good to see yeah. you. And you all look wonderful. Oh, thanks, Mom. Mom, Dad, 
Have a seat. Uh, we've got a little surprise for you. Oh, what? Well, it's concerning an addition to the family. Really? Oh, that's right. Well, that's wonderful. But you don't show a bit. You're as flat as a pancake. <laughs> no, uh, we've adopted a little girl. Oh. That's right. Well, that's just as good. I always wanted a granddaughter. I'll get it. Adorable little girl, isn't she, Bill? A real cutie. <laughs> Is this our new granddaughter? No! <laughs> Leave them alone. I think they like me. <laughs> what we mean is, is that Harriet's our neighbor's adorable daughter. What do you want, Harriet? Well, my mother happened to be looking out our window, and she happened to see these people come into your house. So she wondered who they were. They looked pretty important through her binoculars. <laughs> oh, is your mother a member of the neighborhood watch? No, she just watches the neighborhood. <laughs> Harriet, tell your mother these are my parents. They're going to be here for a few days, and their blood type is O. You think that'll satisfy her? No, I'm going to need more. <laughs> booga, booga. <laughs> <laughs> if that isn't our new granddaughter, where is she? Coming right up, Mom. <clears throat> Vicky, come in here, please. You're gonna love her. Vicky, that's a perky little name. You called me? Oh, look, Bill. Isn't she precious? Oh. She sure is a cute little thing. Pretty as a picture. Takes after her grandma. Vicki, I want you to meet Grandma and Grandpa Lawson. Nice to meet you, Grandma and Grandpa Lawson. <laughs> you sure are a cute little thing. I'm sure a cute little thing. <laughs> she certainly has uh, an unusual voice, mm. doesn't she, Bill? Well, that, that's because of her, uh, her uh, uh, tonsils. <clears throat> She's got three of them. <laughs> Big as walnuts. Three tonsils, that's amazing. Yeah, I have a little trouble believing in myself. <laughs> well, uh, well, why don't you pack and freshen up Mom and Dad, and then we can have a nice chat. I have a better idea. Mother, why don't you unpack, and I'll stay here and have some fun with my new granddaughter. <laughs> Sound good, you little darling? Sounds good, you little darling. <laughs> Here you are. Here you are on your elephant. Deep in the African jungle, searching for King Solomon's diamond mines. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not much of an elephant. But, uh... You see, when I travel, I carry a small trunk. <laughs> uh, that's a joke, honey. I'm glad you told me. <laughs> that's as close as I can get to a real elephant. A real elephant. <laughs> How'd you do that? Three tonsils. <laughs> All right. I am the guardian of the diamond mine. Uh-oh. Looks like we got trouble, Buana. Big trouble. I'm a medicine man, not just an ugly native. <laughs> no. How's it going, gang? Having fun? Ready for some dinner, Dad? Yeah. This elephant is really pooped. Off you go, honey. Oh, I hope you didn't overdo, Bill. Oh, just trying to keep up with the children. Oh, sure. <laughs> That Vicky's a real dynamo. She never runs down. Yeah, she's got enough energy in her to start a car. <laughs> <laughs> gotta catch my breath. Guess I got carried away. Carried away. 
<laughs> Vicky, put Grandpa down. My goodness. How can a little girl be so strong? Well, Mom, I... I guess it's because she's not a real little girl. What's that supposed to mean? Dad, the truth is, Vicky stands for V-I-C-I, Voice Input Child Identicant. Vicky is a experimental robot that I invented. A robot? Yeah, here, look. <laughs> See? Well, isn't she wonderful? I I'm so proud of Ted. He's made a major scientific breakthrough. Do you mean that, 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 that she is really a, a robot? Well, we don't think of her as a machine. She's become a member of the family. Yeah, and she's better than a real sister. She doesn't waste all her time in the bathroom. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think, Dad? I think you did a great job. You do? Of playing me for a sucker. What? You duped me and I fell for it. Here, I thought I had a real granddaughter. No matter how you dress her up, she's nothing but a, a worthless bucket of bolts. I don't like you. Oh, oh, Bill. No, don't old Bill me. I feel cheated. Dad, just think of all the good that a robot like Vicky can do for people. Yeah, I know what robots can do for people. They can take their jobs. Mother, I'm packing. We're leaving. Oh. Dad, Dad, listen. Yeah, next you'll invent a, a robot grandfather and I'll be totally useless. <laughs> Oh, Ted. Son, I'm sorry, but I don't agree with him at all. Thanks. I think you're adorable, Vicky. Grandpa doesn't like me. I'm just a worthless bucket of bolts. <laughs> Mom, Dad, look! Grandpa made Vicky cry. Jamie, robots don't cry. He's right, Ted. There's a tear on her cheek. <laughs> Joni, honey. Vicky doesn't have feelings and emotions. Well, if that isn't a tear, what is it? Well, as an expert in robotics, I can tell you this. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Hi there. Huh? Uh, oh, hello, young lady. What you doing? I'm packing up and leaving. Boy. That was fast. Usually takes a couple of days before I get on people's nerves. <laughs> well, it's not because of you, Harriet. Because of that phony baloney granddaughter of mine. Now, don't blame her. All little girls can't be as charming as I am. <laughs> well, tell you the truth. I wish you were my granddaughter. Oh, I'd like that. My grandfather never plays with me. Why not? He's dead. <laughs> well, there's nothing personal about it. Maybe you could be my substitute grandfather. Well, uh, I'd be honored. Be nice to have a granddaughter that was real flesh and blood. You wouldn't know anything about that. Flesh and blood? It's in my memory bank. What do you mean, your memory bank? Oh, that's a technical expression, Harriet. You see, we all have memory banks. Except, your bank is overdrawn. Why don't you want to bring that walking scrap heap in here? Get her out of my sight. Grandpa, Vicky's not really that bad. Once you get to know her, you'll really warm up to her transistors. Forget it. Forget it. I'd rather have a hot water bottle. Grandpa, what's the matter? I'm not feeling so good. What is it? I better go get your grandma. Grandma, Dad, Mom, come quick. Grandpa's sick. Oh. It's going to be okay, Grandpa. They'll be yeah. here in a minute. Uh. Just lie still. I will. Darling. Jamie, what's wrong? Darling, what is it? What is it? <laughs> My chest. Oh. Terrible pain. Oh. Oh. I'll get your pills. What pills? Well, uh, he didn't want to worry you, but he does have a bit of a heart problem. Oh, oh no. Let me go. Johnny, call the paramedics. I'll get some extra blankets, Dad. It's going to be okay. Uh. They'll be right back, Grandpa. Just hold my hand. <sighs> Stand 
hand away from the patient, please. His heart is fibrillating. What? Where'd you get that? From Trapper John. <laughs> the proper procedure is ventricular defibrillation. What's that? Electric shock. Well, don't just stand there. Do it. Do it. Clear. <laughs> <sighs> you did it, Vicky. He's breathing. I owe it all to Gonzo. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, how's he doing? You won't believe what Gonzo did. Mm -hmm. I mean, Vicky. Well, what'd she do? She defib... Fibber... She jump-started Grandpa! <laughs> Thanks, I'll hold. <laughs> oh, Jamie, you shouldn't let a little girl carry those heavy cases. Grandma, she's not a little girl. She could carry the whole house if she wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, you are so adorable. I'm an adorable scrap heap. Oh, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Well, you're all set, Mom. The oh. flight home is leaving on time. Thank you, dear. Oh, I'd still feel better if you'd stay with us for a few more days. Well, after being cooped up in that hospital for a whole week, Bill wants to go home. Oh, he's such a stubborn old fool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Here's the patient. Huh? Does he look terrific or what, huh? <laughs> Never felt better. I feel like a new man. <laughs> But I still feel like the same woman. <laughs> <laughs> Remember your heart. <laughs> I'll bet you're sure glad to get out of that hospital, eh, Grandpa? Oh, boy, you can say that again. I don't know which was worse, all those tubes they stuck in me or the jello. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to make your plane, we better get going. Yeah, Vicky, uh, take the suitcases to the car, please. Now, I don't need that erector set to help me. He's a stubborn old fool. <laughs> Danny, give her a hand. Yeah. You may not want Vicky's help now, you old goat, but you certainly needed it a week ago. What do you mean? Dad, we didn't want to tell you before because of your condition, but Vicky saved your life. What are you all talking about? It was the paramedics saved my life. No, it was Vicky. She gave your heart an electrical jolt before they even got here. If it hadn't been for Vicky, instead of being an old goat, you'd be a dead duck. <laughs> Is that the truth, Mother? Well, you bet it is. All set, Dad. Okay, let's get going, everybody. Oh, Come on. Wait a minute, son. Just hold your horses. Uh, I want to have a word with Vicky. With Vicky? In private. So uh, would you all get out? Go on, scoot, all of you. You got it, Dad. <clears throat> Come over here. Come here, sit next to me. Well, I, I hear you saved my life. You got it, Dad. <laughs> you see, uh, I had a very good reason for not liking you. You really hate robots? <laughs> well, I used to. But I confess, I'm beginning to fall in love with an irresistible little robot named Vicky. So, uh, <clears throat> well, I just want to... Say thanks for, for saving my life, honey. I jump-started you. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. Now, will you give your Grandpa Bill a big hug? A big hug. <laughs> She's giving him a big hug. Uh-oh. She just saved his life. I hope she doesn't squeeze it out of him. <laughs> You can all stop peeking and come in now. <laughs> oh, Bill, I'm glad you made up with her. So am I. I gotta admit, I really flipped for Vicky. I hope you do for me, too. Flip for you. <laughs> Vicky, sweetheart, come here. I think I can safely say <clears throat> that there isn't another granddaughter in the world like you. Oh, I'm going to miss you, sweetheart. So am I. You're really something special. Look, Dad, there's another tear on her.
her cheek. Tim, she must really be developing emotions. Yeah. She seems to be getting closer to being a real female. She cries when she's sad, and she cries when she's happy. <laughs> Small wonder brings love and laughter. 